Our first construction, probably the most uh, basic of all the constructions, is copying a segment. That is, duplicating the exact length of a segment we already have. Um, the way that we would put it in our current terminology is we're, we're constructing a congruent segment. Uh, two segments that have the exact same length. Uh, our, our training you know, that we've all had in elementary school uh, would give us the impulse to just grab a ruler. Grab a ruler, come down to our segment, measure it in either inches or, or centimeters. Um, this one we get, oh, looks like about 7.5 centimeters. And then put our ruler somewhere else on the paper, take our pencil, and make that 7.5 uh, centimeter length, and we're done. Um, which is great, except that is not a construction. The classic rules of construction do not permit us to use the markings on the measuring device. Um, you know, you can imagine that over the last 2,500 years, uh, throughout the entire world, there have been many different units of measurement. The two uh, largest in the world now, probably the most used, is the metric system throughout the world with uh, centimeters and such. Uh, many countries do still hold on to the English system with the inches and, and the feet. But even, even beyond that, uh, units of measurement are just extremely arbitrary, whereas the pure distance of a segment is not. And that's why we use the compass to measure that distance precisely. And then we don't have to worry about how many units it is. It's exactly one unit whatever that distance is, and it makes it very easy to uh, duplicate. And because we're going to do it that way, because we're going to do it with the compass, we have to have somewhere to duplicate that distance onto, which is why the first step has nothing to do with measuring the distance itself, but rather giving us a place where we can duplicate that distance. So we want to draw a new segment, and we want to make sure it's longer than the original segment. Um, doesn't matter how much longer, but we know that we're going to be marking that distance, and if we're too short, um, it's not going to be very useful. So we would get uh, our straight edge, and of course, on this mark board, I have just a straight line making tool. But uh, of course, on your, your paper, you guys would want to be using the straight edge to create a straight line. That's the only purpose that you're ever allowed to use the straight edge for in constructions is to create um, straight lines. That's it. You can't use them to measure, so you're going to have to really get rid of that impulse. Um, we are now ready to measure. So we'll go ahead and in step two, grab our compass very carefully, get it lined up so that one point of the compass is exactly on the end point of the segment. And eventually I'll get it. Jumping around on me a little bit. There we go. That's it. And then I'm going to widen the compass until I get the length that we want. So it looks like mm, too wide there. There we go. Got it. So this is the length that we want right there. You don't have to put an arc on the original segment, but I think it's a nice little touch just to verify that you have been up there and measured what you were supposed to measure. Now that we've got that measurement, you can imagine what the third step would be. We are going to go to our new segment that we created, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that distance. Uh, once again, I'm going to carefully put the edge of the compass right on the edge of the segment. And hopefully this is much easier for you to do on your paper because it doesn't jump around quite as much. And then arc through the segment. Um, this is a, a part of constructions that some people kind of have to get used to a little bit because they like their work to be nice and neat, which I, as a math teacher, certainly appreciate. However, in, con in the, the realm of constructions, those arcs are vital to showing that you've done the work properly. Um, if you don't have those arcs there, 
then nobody knows exactly how you did your work. So you have to get used to leaving those arcs. Some of the larger constructions get even sloppier than this. So you're just going to have to be okay with the fact that the arcs um, are part of the diagram. And it's nice to go ahead and put little endpoints on those those marks just to show the beginning and ending of your new line segment. That would be the construction of a duplication or, or copying of a line segment. Uh, this particular problem does not ask us to label our new segment, but sometimes they will. It might say, hey, uh, please name your new segment EF. And so you just got to make sure you're using capital letters. You name your two new endpoints E and F. Um, in this case, that was not necessary. But if, uh, if the directions do ask you to do that, please pay attention to detail. That's one of our math standards, precision. Um, just as a final little demonstration, let's see how we did with this duplication. And it looks like, if I line it up there, we got it pretty much right on. So perfect uh, construction there for us, the duplication of the length of line segment AB.